Okay, so let us now go to Rule 2, which is the cause of action. This has not been amended, so the provisions are still the same. Let's go to Section 1, the basis of ordinary civil actions. Every ordinary civil action must be based on a cause of action. Take note again that there are two kinds of uh, civil action, that is the ordinary civil action and the special civil action. So if it is an ordinary civil action, there, always, there must always be a cause of action. Section 2 is the definition of the cause of action. A cause of action is the act or a mission by which a party violates a right of another. Section 3 one suit for a single cause of action a party may not institute more than one suit for a single cause of action section four is an important bar exam area what is the effect if you split a single cause of action if two or more suits are instituted on the basis of the same cause of action the filing of one or a judgment upon the merits in any one is available as a ground for the dismissal of the abst and section five another bar exam area bar favorite joinder of causes of action a party may in one pleading assert in the alternative or otherwise as many causes of action as he may have against an opposing party subject of course to the following conditions and what are those conditions letter a the party joining the causes of action shall comply with the rules on joining on joinder of parties the rules on joinder of parties can be found in rule 6 letter b the joinder shall not include special civil actions or actions governed by special rules so you have to know what are those special civil actions letter c where the causes of action are between the same parties but pertain to different venues or jurisdictions the joinder may be allowed in the rtc provided one of the causes of action falls within the jurisdiction of said court and the venue lies therein and last condition is the totality rule where the claims in all the causes of action are principally for the recovery of money the aggregate amount claimed shall be the test of jurisdiction again i have to emphasize please study carefully section Section 6, Misjoinder of Causes of Action. Misjoinder of Causes of Action is not a ground for dismissal of an action. A misjoined cause of action may, on motion of a party or on the initiative of the court, be severed and proceeded with separately. Memorize this one also or take note of this one also because this has been asked in the bar examinations. That's all. Thank you.